As far as the notion of the Big Bang, I have to say something, but carefully. Remember I said earlier there is no single statement in the Quran that is in conflict with any established scientific fact. But when you talk about the origin of the universe, you have to be more careful because that's theory and theories could change. Nobody was there to record it on video camera or anything of that nature. But there is something interesting with caution that we find in the Quran. And the text of the verse in Arabic says, أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رَتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ Don't the unbelievers or rejecters of faith know or see, actually see, that the heavens and earth were all one part and then we split them asunder and we made out of water everything living. Quite interesting. The whole universe was one gaseous mass, according to that theory. From that you get the galaxies, various systems, solar systems and so on. But again, I take that with a precaution. So there is no, no problem. If that theory is proven, there is no contradiction with the Quran at all.